In this video, I'm going to show you how to add products to your e-commerce store. So what we need to do is go on out to look at some competitor websites in the niche market that we're targeting. And we want to look and see how they have their products categorized. Because the first thing you want to do is you want to have proper categories in place so you can easily slide your products into those categories. So what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to look at petsupplies.com or as it's more known as 1-800-PET-SUPPLIES and we're going to pretend that we're selling dog beds so I'm going to see how they've categorized their dog beds so they've actually categorized them as cooling beds crate pads heated dog beds so that's what we're going to go with here so I'm going to come over to this website and I'm going to click under products I'm going to choose categories and I will select a new category name and I'm going to just call this one let's call it cooling beds and the slug is a URL friendly version of the name. It's usually going to be like all lowercase. So for example, it would be cooling dash beds, cooling dash, let's say dog beds and description. Make sure your pet stays comfortable during the hottest times of the year and then you could upload an image for this category so I'm gonna go here to um, on my computer where I've actually saved some images from my supplier here my pretend supplier and I'm just gonna choose use this image this is an example of a cooling pet bed now you could spend some time creating some really nice looking images here if you would like and I would advise doing that down the road but for now we're just gonna go for basic here so the other kind of bed that we're going to have is the heated uh, bed. So we're going to come over here and we'll call this heated dog beds. And first let me edit the cooling beds because we're going to call it cooling dog beds. Cooling dog beds. Click on update. And notice how easy it is to work with this store here. So we're going to call this cooling dog beds. And then the other one here is heated dog beds. And then our slug is going to be heated dog beds. And you could also just call it heated if you wanted to. That, that's going to depend on how you want it to end up looking when it's all done. Now you could come up with a much better description here, uh, but for now that's what we're going to go with. And we're going to just choose upload a file and we'll just pick uh, this item here. Upload that, click on use image and add new product categories. Now we've got two product categories so we can start adding a product. So I'm going to go over here under products on the left hand side and I'm simply going to select add a product. So what I'm going to do is go over to my supplier here. When you get a supplier, they're either going to send you your information through a web interface so you can actually log in. That's the preferred method. I love that way because it's super easy to get access to all the products up to date. Sometimes they'll send you like an Excel spreadsheet where it lists out all the product info. Sometimes it's a PDF that you have to copy and paste from or a Word document. It just depends on how they go through the process. So this one here, this is Pet Stores USA, and we're just going to use this as an example. So I'm going to come right on over here and I'm going to plug this item in. So a coma dog products hound cooler dog bed. And I'll go down here, borrow their description. One thing I want to keep in mind when it comes to actually writing your descriptions, it's one thing to just copy and paste straight from the manufacturer, which is what I'm doing here. But if you really want to set yourself up for long-term success, I would advise after you've added these descriptions or even before you add a pile of products, go in and rewrite these or pay somebody on Fiverr to rewrite your descriptions. So they're 100% unique. And so they are product descriptions that's going to be unique to the search engines which will help you get long-term traffic from the various search engines like Bing and Yahoo. So I'm going to paste in uh, my information all right so then it's got the features listed in there and the next thing is we've got our title tag
All right. And we're going to call this a coma cooling dog bed. And then we'll call the model number up here. So it's HC1001. I like to put model numbers in because people do search for products by model number. So we're going to put in our meta description here. And our meta description is really important for search engine traffic as well. So you want to have a good title tag and a good meta description. So keep your dog cool in the hot months with this, with the Acoma cooling dog bed. This innovative bed is sure to bring a smile to your dog's face. All right, so the meta description is what would show up below the listing in the search engines, and you want to have a good meta description there, and you could spend some more time uh, to make it look good. And you'll notice as I did this, this is your snippet preview, and this is what's going to come up here. Uh, you'll notice that this is how it's going to look in the search engine. So it's got your URL right there. Now, again, my URL has nothing to do with pet beds. I'm just using that as an example website here. But let's put in our keyword as a coma or let's say cooling dog bed. That's our feature keyword there. And they're actually going to tell me if I've done a good job using this or not. Notice it's not in my article heading. So that's where I should go in here and I should fix it. Cooling dog bed. And let's make that bold. And I can come over here to the text and we could actually make that what's called an H1 tag. So I'm going to go H1 and that's the heading tag. And then you can go in, is it in the page URL? They'll actually tell you all these things within uh, within the Yoast plugins. So they do a good job of making sure your listings are optimized as well. Uh, the next thing is you've got a SKU number here. Uh, the SKU is what is a reference code for your product. What I like to do is take this code that my supplier gives me for that product. So this particular product is called the HC-101. So that's what my SKU becomes. I like to set a regular and sometimes you could set a sale price so you could say the regular price on this bed let's just say is $59.99 and the sale price is going to be $49.99 and it really depends on what the actual price is going to be and so that's something to keep in mind what what is the cost for you to get this bed from your supplier and then you can determine what your markup is going to be from there. So uh, next thing is we go into inventory Again, if it's drop shipping, you don't need to worry about inventory management right now. Uh, shipping, this one's important because it's going to tell you the shipping weight down here, and it'll tell you all the information for UPS. Most good products you are actually uh, getting a you know price quote from, and drop shipping companies will do this for you. They're going to include everything like your shipping weight, and so you know that this item is 4.2 pounds and it's going to tell you the length and the width for that particular item so the length is 15 by 12 by 10 so 15 inches by 12 by 10 and then you could choose a shipping class if you had those those set up there and then you could say linked products so this is a good idea if you want to have like upsells and cross sells and it's also a really good strategy for getting people to consider other beds as well uh, product attributes that would be if you've added in like certain colors or in this case this item does not have colors or size restrictions but if you had a small large small medium and large bed you could throw that in there as well uh, purchase note so you could put in a special note to the customer after they purchased this product if you wanted to and then you could again choose enable reviews this is all under advanced and the next thing you want to do is throw in a quick uh, short product description so for that you could take maybe the first sentence 
and plug that in there. And now we're ready to go up here at the top left corner. I'm going to choose all product categories. This is going to go under cooling dog beds and we'll do some keyword tags. And then dog beds, separate them by commas. That'll click add. Now we're going to click on publish. And we'll edit our page there. Notice that they tell us up here that the SEO is okay to go as well. That's another powerful feature of Yoast. And so now if we came over to our website here and I clicked on the shop feature, we would have our product showing up here on the website. So the last thing I need to do to really clean this up is I need to add in some like additional information on the product. This tells you like the weight dimensions. If there is additional information, you could throw it down there as well. Another thing uh, to keep in mind is let's say we want to get our image on there and that's one thing we forgot to do. So we'll go over here and we're going to add in our image. So up here we'll choose add media and we're going to pick that bed, insert picture there. And then you could also add an image here into this short part as well. So to add in our image here, we would go up to the add media section. That would actually be if you want to insert an image into the actual post, but we want to actually make sure our image is going to show up here. So to do that, you're going to come down on the right hand side where it says product gallery. And this is where you could put in multiple pictures for a product if you had them. And sometimes that's a good thing to offer if you do uh, have that available to you. So you could have multiple different images and, and different views of the product. And then the next thing is you want to set a featured image and this is all under the media library or if you haven't uploaded the image yet you could just click on upload that so go upload select the file upload it straight from your computer but we already have it uploaded so i'm just going to choose set product featured image now i'm going to click on update once that page updates we're going to come back to the website here and we're going to refresh this page and our image should show up here there it is. So now we've got our image showing up and it's got a little sale feature there. It's got the add to cart button working and we are ready to rock and roll. We've got our e-commerce site set up and now it's time to go in and you could tweak the sidebar here uh, inside of your WordPress dashboard just to kind of make it more of a e-commerce friendly type feel to it. Uh, but that is how you add products to your website. So if you go over here to shop it's going to bring up under the shop the single product that you've got in store or you could go out to your category here the cooling dog beds category and it's got the same product right there that you're carrying so that's how you add a product here to your store uh, the next thing is just to keep in mind if you go to appearance and widgets this is where we can actually play around with removing certain features so you could keep the search box there um, the recent post option you could actually delete that or you could keep it if you wanted to have like recent blog posts related to the niche market you're promoting uh, but if you don't want it showing up on your store you could remove that archives categories you could keep there and then if we go back to our site here it should update itself on the right hand side and it does so we're we're good to go there if we want to add in like additional pictures or images like our phone number you could actually just drag a text-based widget here and you could copy and paste in your HTML code like I would recommend maybe a newsletter opt-in form here where you're capturing people's names and email that would do really well in this section so that's how you add a product that's how you add categories and this is how you really get started so then at this point just a matter of adding more products cleaning up your website you could go out to woothemes.com maybe find a different uh, better theme that's going to suit your website even better and that way you've got even cleaner look and this is just using more 
more of a generic WordPress theme that we offer. But as you can see, it lays out pretty nice. It lays out very clean. It's simple. Uh, but if you really want to stand out from the crowd, you could go out there and invest in a great theme from uh, Woo Themes as well to get a nice looking theme.